Welcome to this overview of the Manager Tools link within the Hub at MBCC. We'll begin by going to the hub.mbcc.ca and then in the upper right hand corner of the page, we'll just select the sign in button and we'll sign in with our MBCC account. The Manager Tools link will be visible to anyone who has employees reporting under them, such as leads, managers, and directors. The Manager Tools link is accessible under the navigation bar at the very top of the screen, and it'll be located just beside the Logout button. And so if we select the Manager Tools link, you'll see a drop down here titled Emergency Contact Listing. And if I select that, it's going to bring me into the Emergency Contact Listing page here, where I'll see a list of all of the employees that are reporting directly to me. So I'll be able to see their names, when their profile was last updated, and if they show a last updated year of, for example, the year one, the month one, and the day one, that means that that employee has not gone on and updated their personal and emergency contact information. You'll also see the division department, their location, their office number if that's been filled out, phone number, email, and their direct manager. You'll also notice this little blue box right here, right to the right of their name, right beside the last updated box here. And so if the user has that red circle in the upper right hand corner of the box, that's also another way that you can tell if that user has not gone in and filled in their personal and emergency contact information. Now, as a lead manager or director, you are encouraged to reach out to all of the people reporting directly to you that have not filled in their information within the hub and encourage them to fill in both their personal and their emergency contact information. And so if we select the little blue button right here, you'll see it'll provide you access to the user's organization information. So you get all of their position title, division, department, manager, their work phone number, and if they have their work mobile listed, as well as their personal information. So any of the information that that employee fills in, whether it's their primary phone, secondary, their personal email, or their address, and most importantly, their next of kin or emergency contact info. So it'll have their contact's name, relationship to that employee, the primary phone number for the emergency contact, and if there's a secondary phone, it'll be listed here. And we do encourage all staff to go in and put in a second emergency contact name here in case the first one is not available. So I'm just gonna close this box. And so you'll notice here in the upper left-hand corner, there's the reporting levels area here. If you are a manager or lead and you have one level of employees that are reporting to you, you'll see one little person in the box here as you're seeing on the screen. Now, if you're a manager, who has someone under you, such as a lead, who's also managing employees, you'll have a second little person here with a single plus right beside the little avatar there. And then if you're, for example, a director and you have two levels of employees reporting under you, you'll see the little person with the two pluses right here. And so if I select just the single box right here, it's going to show me all those employees that are reporting directly to me. If you select the second icon here with a single person and a little plus here, it'll show you your direct reports as well as the leader manager that's reporting to you as well as their staff. If you select the third icon here, if you have it available to you, It'll show you a list of all the employees that are reporting directly to you, plus those employees who are reporting to the managers and the leads that are under you. And so just under the reporting levels box, you'll see the filter right here. So I can change the filtering. If I have more than 10 employees showing on the page, I can change it to 25, 50 or 100 employees so that everybody's showing on one page. Over here on the far right, you'll also notice a search box where I can go in and I can search for employees on my list if I want. So I can just put in their name and you'll see that they'll show up here. 
You'll also notice that this page has your own personal contact information here. So I can see my name, my role here at the college, as well as my location, my login ID, my email, and my phone number. And so if any of this information is not correct, there's a couple of things you can do. The first thing is you can go under the My Details and edit your directory info, and this will allow you to go in and update, for example, your phone number. Now, if you need to update your campus location, there's issues with either your login ID or maybe your email, you can reach out to Employee Engagement at NBCC, and they'll be happy to assist you in getting that corrected. This concludes the overview of the Manager Tools link within the hub at MBCC.